If this a game, 2K, one of a kind. 2K, best by my thigh. 2K, breath I don't fly. Ooh, a monkey barrage. Uchi hot test on my highs. Alright, guys, how y'all doing? So I think I'm Hercules. Uh, uh, let me get right into it. First things first, I'm right, I'm going no script. So, it's probably going to be edits and stuff throughout the video, but just let you guys know, <clears throat> it's no script. I want to talk about the state of the channel. This is not going to be just the state of the channel. This is going to be the future of the channel, this current state of the channel, and uh, just where, 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 where we are going together, you know, uh, in the future. Because I really started this YouTube thing because I had, I guess, a lack of, uh, I always had friends everywhere. I'm pretty popular, but at a certain point, um, a lot of my, <laughs> when you popular, there's certain things you want to talk about, and I'm real, so I talk about the things I want to talk about, no matter who I'm around, like, I be, I could be around, like, three beautiful females, if I want to talk about a bijou dama, I'm talking about bijou damas, man, and it don't make me less, less lame or more lame of a person, everyone has their interests, you know what I mean, like, I, so, I'm saying all that to say this, the channel's going through a revamp, uh, when we first began this thing, I didn't know what, um, what was the channel going to be, I just knew, one thing for sure, I wanted it to be about games and anime, and that, and I've stuck to that. Every video has been about game and anime. And if you guys have uh, watched for the subscribers, we've done things like we've talked about uh, scamming, you know, like scams in the in the gaming industry as far as the publishers. We've talked about the gaming reviews such as Binding of Isaac. We've just touched on games that's coming out. We we've talked about a bunch of things as far as game is concerned, and we've also talked about anime, like critiques of anime. But I think moving forward, I know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to uh, shift this thing to more. So they talk, the YouTube algorithm says that I have to follow a certain guideline. I tried to go against it, and it didn't work. Like my main, my best videos happen to be two Warframe videos, and I happen to do those two back to back, and uh, and it just shows that the algorithm works. And what I want to do, I want to put out the content that I really like, but at the same time, I want to increase my followers because I want to talk to more people about this. I want to engage more people about Warframe, Naruto, Attack on Titan, PS5s, you know, uh, game developers, publishers. So the uh, so what we're going to do, guys, is it's not a compromise. It's something I actually want to do. We're going to shift the, uh, the dynamic of the channel for a little while into something that is... It's a game called Naruto Arena, all right? And then here we are. We're going to talk about it some. The reason why I want to start a Naruto Arena channel, or I want to change this channel to Naruto Arena channel, and my first idea was to just make another channel and just have that be my Naruto Arena channel. But this is a game, and it, it fit all the things of what I talked about. So without an actual identity of my channel, I'm free to do that until I have an identity. Um... That does not mean Warframe videos will not be showing up. That does not mean anime videos will be sh won't be showing up. But it does mean that my pocket has been found, and I'm going to be more inside of that pocket. Um, Naruto Arena is a game I love. It's attached to an anime I love. And it's no one on YouTube doing anything on it. And it's a lot of people that need guidance. And I've known the game long enough to actually talk about it. The guidance, the details, the characters, and just show people what it is. I'm sure there are going to be people that eventually start to show up that are better than me at the game. No better strategy than me at the game. And that's perfectly fine. Because I'm down to take your strategy and put it into my own equation. So, with no further ado, all that out the way. Um, let me show you guys Naruto Arena. And what I want to do at this point, guys, is just take you through uh, just some of the characters because that's the thing that's going to attract you to the game. Who's there? Who, who can I play as? Like, do they have cool characters? So that's the best thing about the game. The game has more characters than, in my I, I, uh, probably in my opinion, in its current form. And, and it's, it's ever-evolving. It has more characters than any other Naruto game I've ever seen. And it has some of the most unique characters I've ever seen in Naruto. So... And the way these characters fight is unique. Like, Hanata, she'll be needing taijutsus. Uh, someone like Tamari is a ninjutsu, so she's going to need blue. Someone like uh, Kakashi is going to need that blo that bloodline because that's Sharingan. Um, you know, it, it really, the, if you think of the character and you know, like, it, it comes with four chakras, which is the four traits, taijutsu, ninjutsu, genjutsu, and uh, bloodline. Once you know those, like, you can guess, like, Hen Tsunade. All right, if 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 green is uh, if if uh green is taijutsu and blue is ninjutsu, and, and, and Tsunade beats give you them give you hands and she heals, okay. But who you even unlock? You probably already thinking like she used blue when she used green. Like she already knew that, you know what I mean? 
some people use randoms, but I was saying about the characters, I've never seen a, such a deep selection of characters. Like, look, right now, we're looking at Butterfly Choji. I think that's like the third Choji at this point of the, of the game, as, as far as we scrolling down. Ibisu, Konohamaru's fucking uh, uh, team leader. Like, it, it, it really goes. And then we had the uh, Shaputin iteration of the characters. Like, the game has and all these people some of these characters have more than like i said to come with four skills some of these characters have more than four some people moves changing the moves donzo shimura like uh anoki you know uh and, and, and the game continuously goes azuna i don't think there's any naruto game in this world except for this one where you could be azuna uchiha i'm just saying akasuchi i know it's not one where you could be him except this one atsui amoi uh doda you just like come, like look at these characters man and they feel like themselves, like someone like, like, uh, like when I think of the essence of Tsunade, I better be able to heal the fuck up. I lost this long wearing battle to this guy, about a 25 minute battle. And that's because every time I got his health at five, he healed to 100 health with Tsunade. It makes sense. And plus I was being, uh, I think I was being someone that like probably really couldn't beat Tsunade. But that's the thing about the game. The game, these characters do matter. But on the same note, it's the strategies that you're going to envelop with that. Okay. And that's my favorite thing about the game. Now, let's move on and actually get into some action. And here we are, guys. Naruto Arena. So, this is what the game looks like. This is where you'll basically be. Like, all these characters right here, you guys will have all these characters. But that'll probably be it for you guys. So, um, let's just check out like a basic character like Naruto. And this is what I mean by... Um, so everyone, that fourth will always be there and vulnerable. So there you go. Certain people got different ways, and some people can go on for multiple turns. Some people have special appliances, but the the gist of it is you will be invulnerable, bar that you haven't been hit by a certain move. Certain moves, you got certain things like damage reductions. Um, and as you can see, when you see black, that means a random chakra. I explain that as we get into the game. Um, I'm going to do a beginner guide next video, so this isn't a really a beginner guide. This is a show you what the game, guys, what the game is, and then I think I'll probably drop a beginner guide sometime, like Sunday or Monday, I'll drop a beginner guide. Um, so let's go through, like, let's pick a team. Let's just pick a team and play, right? Um, as you can see, guys, I don't have everyone, right? Because this, this, I just got back into the game. This game came out back when, in like, 2008, and then it had been uh, canceled, so to say. And it had a resurgence uh, two years ago, and I've been playing it since it came back out two years ago. So one thing you want to do when you're picking a team is try to have good chakras. I want to have, like, a good fun team for you guys. Like, have some interesting characters. So let's do uh, a live Hashirama. Uh, he uses reds. Let's do Fool, the Seven Tails. Blue and white. I got some greens I can use. I need someone who... All right, here we go. We're going to use Ido Tensei Hanzo the Salamander. So that's everything. That's a pretty good one for you guys. So there it is. I'm going to do a quick game because quick games don't count. And you get... uh Quick games don't count towards your record. And you unlock characters this way. This is how you unlock the characters. And if anybody want to play me, go ahead and hit me up. I'll play you in a private match and whip me, dust you off real quick. I mean, I hurt no mind dusting you off, man. So... Is this game low enough? I'm going to tell you guys, like, I was really looking for an identity on YouTube, and I think, like, I really found it in this game. Like, I was I was so excited when it came to me, like, yo, make videos on Auto Arena. So, here we are. Um, Guys, if you can tell, you can put your own picture up there, and you can put your own uh, background. So, Naruto is probably my favorite character in Naruto, so I got him up there naturally and this guy made a mistake because he didn't do the setup with Sai but he can't and we're going to do off the rip we're going to just steal some chakra from Sai and we're going to do a counter we're going to set up a counter on Hashirama yeah the reason for the counter is so that when he does them so the biggest thing about I love about this game is the it's all about what you know. It ain't about who you have. Like, these characters I'm using are nothing if I don't know what they do and how they do it. So, I know, like, Sai, that guy in the middle, he, his first attack is usually going to be, he's going to spread this little thing that, that, that goes on the whole team. If I can counter that, it protects me. Shino Abarami, he wants to do counters, and he wants to set up with Hanata. So, the more you know about the, the other team, the actual characters, the more you can adjust the strategy and know what they're going to do. And I love that about the game. Okay, so we didn't actually get the counter because that's a helpful skill, and I'm glad I know that now. So what we're going to do, we're stealing chakra from this guy still. Um, he didn't have, being that we stole chakra, and he did a setup, and he did he did two setups, you get three chakras per round. I know for a fact that this man did not do the counter with Shino Abarame, thus leaving me free to hit him twice. 
I'm going to save that white chakra during the month. Of, so I'm going to explain some things while this guy uh, turns actually going on. So um, you always want to just read like all these little things. Like once you apply a move, depending on who it applies to, it always show the picture right there. You can just read it up right there. Um, you know, if I stun him, he'll be invulnerable for one turn. So my thing is with this strategy with him is to hit him where he he will do more damage, but take enough chakra and and scare him so he he can't. The the level of of depth and and, and strategy in this game is what obsess me. It looks boring until you play it. I mean, honestly, to me, I, I ain't gonna lie, it don't even look boring to me. But to some people, I can see how it may come off as boring. Okay, so I see that. All right, once again, he, he uh, we're gonna do a thousand hands setup, and we're gonna hit him twice. We're gonna hit him with this. And we're going to hit him with this um, because I gained destructive defense. The reason why I'm doing this, because even if I've been countered, which I doubt, see, boom, he'll, he'll die now in two turns. I'm going to block with my Huns with a Salamander. It's the number. It's so much. Like, I love the game, man. Um, So here we go. Looking at what we're going to do next. I actually don't know where we're going from here. Would look like uh, I would like to kill that side, but now I don't know if he did the counter, and it's more than likely that he did. So instead of actually attacking his side, I'm going to go after his uh, Shino or his Anata next. Don't know which. Sorry for the moment of sounds. I probably had like background music or something playing because it's not. I, I'm not trying to do a beginner's guide. So here we are. Okay. Um. Da -da 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 -da. I'm going to punch him up. And then leave it at that because I want to steal some chakra next turn. I really want the block, but I don't have the block. And let's just start stealing the chakra again from him. See if I can stop him from killing uh, Hanzo the Salamander. But you guys, you can see like, and that's what I mean by the strategy. Like, I in my mind, he was going to do all the, like, some of the times I've been accurate in my predictions. That's because how much I know the game. And it, the game can get so detailed, like, it could be, it's, All right, guys, take fucking four. Uh, I'm going to put a blooper at the end of this video because something funny happened. But this is my fourth time saying this. I'm going to just say it the most efficient way now because the blooper at the end is basically that all over again. Um, that's all I really got today, guys. Share it to your friends. Share it to your friends' friends. Um, and the thing is, I, I shared this game and I really want to start trying to get you guys to just try the game out because it's a free game we hear about all these shady and, and 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 deceitful things that all these game publishers and stuff do right now we have a game that uh, a core of people that care about a genre and they made a good game and it's free let's just tr they don't just try it that's all i'm saying um i'm gonna link the website in the description of course and that's all I got, man. Uh, stay for the blooper, bro. Let, let, like, all right, so let me explain what happened because the blooper not going to explain it. So what happened was at the end of the video, it didn't record my ending. And I was like, fuck. All right, cool. That's not as bad, but whatever. They're going to trust that I won because they already know Hercules don't play. So after that, I was like, all right, I plugged in the audio box and then I tried to record again. Only to find out I didn't cut on the power because I unplugged it and cut off the power on my audio box. So now my mic wasn't even picking it up. So now I can't even re-record it because I don't even know what I said. Like I said, I was going off the off script. Then the third time, my shit sounds robotic like you're about to hear at the end of the video, the blooper. And now here we are with fourth time. So each time I, I remember, it was no script. So each time I probably missed some stuff. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm really even going to try to have a beginner's guide out uh, really, really soon. And that's all I got for the day, guys. I think I'm Hercules. Ow! Jeez, man. I'm having the worst end of YouTube video luck ever. First, the other half wasn't recorded, and I didn't know why, and I won. And then I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to just tell them I won and explain some things to them at the end of the video. And then I fucking sat here and talked for like three minutes, only to find out that I had my, my audio box from my microphone. The fucking, the, the power, I just, I pressed the button and cut the microphone off because I don't like to have that, uh, that uh, static interface. So, yeah, both times I had recorded something and it's gone. So, what I'm trying to say is, um, yeah, that's, guys, that's it, guys. Um, I just, you know, really tried to share the game. It's a really good game. It's a free game. It's no reason, in my opinion, to not play it. I had the website for it in the description, obviously. And, like I said, it's so many, it's so many bad games. There's so many people out here doing frivolous and, and shady things with gaming as far as just doing it just to get hurt and get money. And, and it's okay to, you know, it, it, it's okay to do something for money, but it's not okay to, like, compromise, you know. And the game is, it's a, it, what I'm trying to say is, man, fuck all that other shit, bro.
look, yo, it's a good ass game that's out and it's free. And you know what I'm saying? Ain't no reason to not try it. And you got no, you just lo- make your uh, name, log in, and play it. It's simple as that. So, all right, man. I think I'm hurting the knees. <sighs> Do it! I'm glad you were here today. Talk out my fear to my nature, a rightness. Bounce like shit, I'm strapped with plasmids. Mega bust up when I'm snapping like a spazzing square. What happened? I'm on a tear when I spit. I be everywhere like I'm Booker the Whip. 